Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap. Um, today I'm actually going to head on down to my old stomping grounds, Disneyland, happiest place on earth, to um, pick up my race packet and stuff for the Tinkerbell Half Marathon, which I am running tomorrow. Okay, so... Obviously, this is going to be for the week before for Young and the Restless. Okay, so here's the thing. This is one of the things that um, Young and the Restless is doing really well lately. And one of them is its use of history. Now, okay, so the, the big story this past, well, there was a few big stories, but a couple of the big ones. One of the big ones was um, Dina Mergeron is coming back to the show. And she is... Ashley and Jack and Tracy's mother. She's not Billy's mom because Billy's mom is um, just Walton. Jill. Jill. Jill is Billy's mom, but everyone else is Dina's kids, right? And Dina's, and Ashley is actually um, uh, Dina's daughter by Brent Davis, okay? An affair that she had. John Abbott never knew, croaked, and he never knew that. Ashley wasn't his. She couldn't tell him because she always thought of him as her father. So, and Dina abandoned her family a long time ago when her children were very small. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think the only person that knows besides Ashley might be Victor. Maybe Jack might know too, but I'm not sure about that. But there, there. If if there, if anybody knows that secret, it's just those two people. It's just Jack and Victor. That's it. And I'm not even 100 percent sure that Jack knows. And now I really wish that there would have been more build up to this story because that would have helped a little bit. But it, it did have some. You know, it, it was all within the same week. But it would have been nice if they had mentioned her, like, in passing before. But I, I get that they don't ever want to discuss their mother. Like, I get that. That makes sense, you know, because she abandoned them when they were little children, right? So I totally understand. Okay. So, here's the thing. She is selling her company, right? And she's entertaining bids from all kinds of multinational companies conglomerates, right? She's, uh, and we don't know whether or not Victor Newman has put in a bid. We don't know whether or not, um, Jabot has put in a bid, but we definitely know that in the Hamilton Winters group collection, whatever the hell their name is, they have put in a bid and they had a meeting with her and she found out that, uh, Devon is Catherine Chancellor's grandson. She was good friends with Catherine Chancellor back in the day, right? So, she found all that out and then she thanked them for their time but she said she had to entertain other offers now what I found interesting about that is that afterwards she was on the phone and she said uh, thank you so much for your offer Mossimo now if you're just a young and the restless viewer you might not get that but if you watch bold and the beautiful which exists in the same universe as Young and the Restless, you would know that Massimo Moroni is the head of a multinational conglomerate, like Moroni Industries, I think it's called, or something. I don't know. But, so, I, I mean, we don't know that that's who it was, but that was a very sly wink and a nod to people who watch both shows. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, yeah, okay, so, so anyways, they had lots of juicy great flashbacks. You know I love me some flashbacks. They are the best. Um, so in terms of the flashbacks, they had a lot of flashbacks of a young Ashley confronting her mother. And if I'm not mistaken, I think her mother was actually on that one um, vintage episode that they aired of Victor's First Wedding, which was incredible. For a studio wedding, it was, it was one of the best. Um, I think she was at that wedding, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken. Because I, I recognized her when she was, you know, younger. Obviously, I didn't watch the show back then. But I recognized her when she was younger that, oh, I think she was at Victor's wedding. Um, and Victor said he knew her. She's a complicated lady. Okay, I get it. Cool. All right. So, here's the deal. We're, we're obviously going to Oh, and Abby. Okay, so Abby's kind of upset. She was up. Well, not... Uh, 
she wasn't really upset so much as she was just really curious because she knows that there's no bad, there's no good blood between her mom and her grandmother, right? But she wants to know why she doesn't know her only living um, grandchild or her only living. She wants to know why Abby doesn't know her only living grandparent, right? So, you know, um, Ashley was like, look, she's never reached out to you, has she? Now, I would have also pointed out that she never reached out to Colleen, who was Tracy's daughter, and she's never reached out to Kyle or Chemo, who are Jack's children. You know, she never reached out to Summer when she found out that Summer was, when everyone thought that Summer was Jack's, right? So I would have just let her know she's not alone. That's just what I would have done personally. But she did say, you know, I don't, I just wanted to spare you, you know, and and you can, and I think that she would have said, ask Jack if he's ever told Kyle or Chemo about Dina. Ask, ja ask Tracy if she ever told Colleen about Dina, because I bet you they probably didn't, right? They all probably felt the same way. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyways, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm enjoying that story a lot. Actually, and I like I like that they did a blast from the past. Here's another blast from the past. Okay, so one of the things, whenever they recast a part, I think that sometimes the writing, the, the performances are going to vary. And I think that sometimes they write for specific people certain things. Like, for example, when Billy Miller played Billy, um... You know, there was a lot of the same stuff that he's that that Jason Thompson is doing, like the feud with Victor, right? It was probably even worse with Billy Miller because really, really played that up, you know, and 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 issues with um, Nick and and you know, because I remember Nick punching him out in the offices of Restless Style. That was great. That was really great on camera. That was funny. Anyways, so you know, all that those types of things that. That was good for Billy Miller. That was great. And now he's playing Jason on General Hospital and he's doing a great job. Jason Thompson, they have reignited this um, rivalry with Kane. And I find that very fascinating. I love it because originally, you know, because this is the week that Victoria found out that Phyllis and, and Billy are still together, right? So that she found out and she was obviously very upset about it. And she was basically, she kind of told, um, basically she found out because uh, Phyllis and Billy were stuck in an elevator and then the elevator doors opened wide, wide open and boom, there they are making out and she was standing right there and she saw the whole thing and that's totally not how they wanted to tell her, uh, but you know. It is what it is. Now, originally, Kane was going to maybe hold this over Billy's head, which I think is fascinating given that he recently strayed with Juliet and no one knows about it um, except him and Juliet. So i am be very curious to see what Kane does with this information because it looks like Kane's going to be teaming up with Jack to bring Billy down. He's already floated the idea that, you know, um, what's his name, you know, that uh, Jack doesn't, He's already floated the idea that uh, Brash and Sassy doesn't need Billy and that Victoria should fire him. So we'll definitely see how that plays out. That is, that's another good use of history. Here's another good use of more recent history, right? So we all know that Chelsea, switching gears, this is the other, this was towards the end of the week that this reveal came about. So we all know that Chelsea has a grifting past. That's how she came into Genoa City is she was pregnant with Billy's baby and she was looking for that big payday. And in fact, she is Johnny's birth mother. You know, Victoria, and that's something that, that is something that is always going to be in the back of everyone's head. You know, she gave up Johnny so that Billy could be happy. Um, but we'll see if something ever happens with Johnny and he... You know, and she doesn't feel like either one of them are good parents. Who knows? Maybe she might actually try to get rights to her son. Or she might, you know, who knows? But there's that's that's a that's one of those loose plot points 
that it, who knows how many how long that will be before that gets sewn up but it is but that's fine that's totally okay it's not one of those things where like they build up a story and then they leave it and then you never know what the hell happens right young and the restless is, does a very good job it might be 20 years from now before they sew up that loose plot hole but they always do so so we found out this week that she actually had a friend back in the con days and it turns out that it was Jordan, the camera guy, who's now dating um, the guy who's the photographer for Brash and Sassy, who's now dating Hillary, is a former con artist as well. And they were friends back in the day. But no one knows that they were friends. They Everyone thinks that they just met. Genius. Genius. I cannot wait to see how that plays out. That is, that's really good. So, you know, I give Young and the Restless a lot of credit. It's doing a really good job. Okay, so I'm off to the races, literally. Actually, no, tomorrow will be my day at the race. But thank you so much for logging on. Today. I, I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can also hashtag uh, YR to talk Young and the Restless. And you can also hashtag GH to talk General Hospital, which I'm doing next. Thank you so much. Uh, and feel free to hit that little button that says subscribe on YouTube. Um, thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.